I can't speak for everyone here, but, um... I like you. And I like you. <laughs> but uh, you don't know me. But I will make that effort if given the opportunity. Uh, pardon? <laughs> Those are two of our favorite characters on the wildly popular AMC series Mad Men, which returns with a two-hour premiere tomorrow night after a 17-month hiatus. And with us for morning coffee are Vincent Carthizer, who plays the scheming Pete Campbell, and Jared Harris, who portrays Lane Price, well known for controlling costs at the Sterling Cooper Draper Price ad agency. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. And I noticed the two of you were holding hands through that segment. <laughs> it, it seems like there's a lot of camaraderie. Between the two of you, at least. There's camaraderie yeah, between the yeah. entire cast. The whole lot. It's There's a, good a lot group. of ribbing going on and a lot of well, not really practical yeah, jokes, so but you know, little <laughs> kidney punches and stuff like that. Well, the two of you in the in the green room a few moments ago were, were literally jumping on top of each other. You were wrestling. Yes. Wrestling. Like Ra like yeah. wrestling. Yeah. So okay, tell me this. You go for almost a year and a half, not coming back. Mm. Was there ever a sense that maybe that was it? That was the final? I didn't believe that. Nor did I. I, I kind of always knew that the powers that be would say, you know, they would come to their senses and say, this is a show that uh, I have an announcement. needs to uh, come back. Even Jesus the come to the census things, though, was, you know, it was, uh, it, was, it was a question of when, not if. Yeah, and usually we start airing the show about four weeks after we start really? filming it. Hmm. And this year, uh, they wanted to schedule us at a different time in the season, so we actually weren't gone from filming that much longer than usual. We just uh, we moved the air date back. So. That, that's a pretty quick turnaround. So have you done the entire season at this point? Yeah. Do you know yeah. ultimately what will I, happen to, to Pete and Lance? Lane? Uh, Lane. I'm sorry, that's Lane. Right. <laughs> I know exactly what will happen to Lance. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. nothing. <laughs> I do want to talk about Lane, though, because Lane, I've heard, was uh, sort of molded after your stepfather. Well, a little bit. That's for me, personally, uh, in terms of trying to get a reference for the character. Um, and who um, was your stepfather? Weren't you paying attention <laughs> last night? He was a night? little bit, I know, he was huh? kind it's of for famous. viewing audience, <laughs> my friend. Um, Rex Harrison. Yeah. Uh, I did, in terms of his, uh, his uh, fastidiousness over his appearance. Mm -hmm. um, um, my stepfather uh, used to, you'd see him writing a letter, and he'd finish it, and he'd be in a sort of uh, uh, slacks and a cardigan, and he'd go upstairs and he'd put on a three-piece suit, hmm. a camel hair overcoat, his Professor Higgins hat, he'd go and find his dog, put it on a leash, walk, 30 feet to the out to the corner post the letter come back in take everything off again really yeah and that's not something you do in i personally life, would Jared. never do that but i could see lane doing that what's going to surprise us the most about this season nice <laughs> uh well we can't give anything away I, it's uh, it's that's no fun i know it's it is fun when you watch it because you don't know what's going to happen but the writers of this show have an amazing way of uh, knowing their characters, and so uh, they found ways to continue to surprise the audience, but not reach too far away from who the characters are. So, uh, as so Matthew you're going to go after Roger. <laughs> Pete is going to go after Roger. I, where we left it in season four, Pete was already was going after Roger. Uh, so uh, we'll see if that storyline picks up again. I have a feeling it will. <laughs> all, I, all I will say is what Matt said, is that if you look at, uh, after you've seen the whole season, you go back and watch the two-hour premiere again, everything that happens, unfolds in the season, is there in that first two hours. You know, all the sort of building blocks and the initial seeds, but everything that happens is right there in that two hours. So watch it carefully. Or come back at the end of the season yeah, and watch right. it again. All right, Jared Harris, Vincent Carthizer, thanks so much, guys. We really appreciate it.